In Wetaithi village, Juja sub-county within Kiambu County, we meet Bonface Mburu, a mechanic by profession and his one-year-old son. Mburu is washing his son's clothes as the son stands by his side. Mburu narrates how his wife was arrested by the county government in Thika for allegedly dumping where she was not supposed to. She was convicted to a one-year imprisonment in Thika Women's Prison or pay a fine of 250,000 Kenyan shillings. Eh, nilikuwa kazini haka nipigia simu haka niambia ameshikwa hapo ilina kanjo mimi kufika pale ilikuwa late nikapata asha wekwa kwa asha yani kufika hapo mtoto nikambio nichukua mtoto na wakamweka kwa sel halishikwa halikuwa mishika tuka natashika dogo hivi halikuwa nenda kudump mahali sisi na, na dump takataka lakini haku wameona hiyo jina dumping juku likuwa usiku ilikuwa kitu saa tatu ndio maana akashikwa na kanjo akaweka kwa gari na akiwa na mtoto mdogo mimi nikafika pale station nikaambiwa nichukue mtoto akawekwa kwa cell this has left a heavy burden on him sasa ndio akaenda kotini akapigwa fine ya 1250 na nimejaribu sana kuhasa hizo pesa sizioni mpaka kwa marafiki aziwezi fika sasa niko na shida hata ya mtoto mtoto ni mgonjwa miguu jaribu kumpeleka hosi hiyo uh, imenilemea sana he laments that nursing the baby boy has been an uphill task especially when feeding him and washing his clothes saying sometimes he is forced to skip his work to take care of the child nimesumbuka sana juu ya huyu mtoto mtoto ananisumbua kila saa mama kwa wapi mama kwa wapi na nilikuwa nalikuwa nazoea kumuona kumuona sasa saa hii amuoni sasa mi nasumbua na yeye pia yeye anashinda akilia usiku akishinda akiita mama akiita mama nashindwa nitafanyaje mtoto wangu ni mgonjwa miguu anakuwa mgonjwa wa PDK lazima kuna chuma zingine anafungabwa miguu hizo lazima afungwe na kama jashiba analianga sana Susan Jerry White Tu a counseling psychologist says it is time the judiciary thought of giving women offenders light sentences in the interest of their infants I would wish to plead with the courts that uh, to give the the light offenders the parents especially if they could accord them uh, uh, non custodial sentences it would go a long way also to so for them to cater for their children because in this case uh, some parents are locked in and the children are left at home giving them a lot of suffering and those children mind you some of them are in their formative years which goes a long way to affect them in their later stages in life she has urged the government to consider setting up central counseling centers in various parts of the country to offer the much needed service to avoid depression i think the county if they could as well chip in to have the counseling centers put in place for that psychosocial uh, support that is dealing with the mental health single parents have been urged to take up their children for counseling to shape up their lives and reduce cases of depression and low self-esteem among single parents and their children